Okay guys, this is another version of carne isada recipe that I would like to share with you. This is more like for people that are beginners and um, I, I'm just going to try to simplify the recipe and be more detailed about the ingredients. Okay, we're going to start off with approximately two cups of beef broth. We might use it all, we might not. One cup of water, one can of crushed tomatoes, two pound of steak, round steak, that's what I use, whatever you want to use, one medium potato, two garlic cloves minced, a quarter of an onion diced small, a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper, a half of a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter of a teaspoon of ground comino. And I'm going to move you over to the stove so we can get started. Okay, I have a cast iron skillet here that's pretty hot at the moment. I have a tablespoon of olive oil in there and we are gonna put our meat in there. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add the water and we're gonna let this cook for about 30 minutes on medium to low heat, okay? You don't wanna cover the meat, just, just right about to the middle, okay? And just try to get it in a single layer like that, just so that it cooks evenly. Okay, so we're going to leave it at that point. We're not going to add anything to this meat at this point. We're just going to let it cook. I'm going to turn down the fire to a low, and we're going to let this boil for about 30 minutes, and I'll be back at that point. Okay, guys, it's been 30 minutes, and at this point, you can see all the water's not evaporated, but we want it to get all evaporated. We're going to start putting in our seasoning. We're going to put in the onion, our salt our comino, and our pepper. Okay, the garlic we're gonna wait till just a little bit later because I don't want that to brown or get bitter while we're cooking it. So we're gonna let this cook down uncovered until the, all the water evaporates. Okay guys, all the water has evaporated from the meat. Uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add about a teaspoon of oil right in the center just a tiny bit and we are going to fry up this meat now make it nice and brown and crispy not not totally totally crispy okay we got the meat nice and crispy it's got some nice color on it and that's what we want now we are going to add the garlic i add the garlic last because i do not want it to get brown okay the if the garlic starts to get brown, it starts to get a little bitter, and we don't want that in our food. Okay, we're just going to give this a little bit of a toss with the garlic just to bring out the essence of the garlic. And then we are going to add our tomato and the broth. Okay, I can smell the garlic real nice and pungent now. So I'm going to add half of the tomato, half of the broth. Okay, we're going to let this thicken up and scrape the bottom of the pan because all that crispy stuff is a lot of flavor. Okay, we're going to let this cook down. I might add a little bit more broth, a little bit more before we add the potatoes. We're going to cook this for 10 minutes, covered, and then we are going to add our potatoes. And the whole time that I'm stirring, I'm actually scraping down the bottom of the pan to pick up all those brown bits because that's a lot of flavor. Now is where we want to taste it and to make sure your salt is okay. This is where you want to taste it for salt and you change it how you like it. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more salt and that's going to be it. I'm going to cover it and cook it down for about 10 more minutes and then we'll be back. Okay guys, it's been 10 minutes that this has been simmering on the stove. We are going to add the potatoes now. Careful, don't splash yourself. Okay, we're going to add the rest of the broth. And we're going to let this cook for 15 minutes. We're going to cover it and let it cook for 15 minutes. Okay guys, it's been 15 minutes. I'm going to come and check to see if the potatoes are cooked all the way through. This just looks and smells delicious. I hope you give it a try. I'm going to get a potato out of here so you can see. Let's see, see it's still a little firm, so I'm going to give it a few more minutes. I'm going to give it about five more minutes. Set the timer for five more minutes. Okay, guys, it's been five minutes. I'm going to turn this off. I'm just going to make sure everything is okay. That's going to be it. This just smells so delicious. I hope you give this a try. I'm going to bring you in closer so you can see this. Just take a look at this meat. It came out delicious. 
And this is going to conclude the video, guys. I hope you give it a try. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I will get back with you. Thank you for watching. Talk to you all later, guys. Bye.